Welcome to this short training video on data protection for your school in Qatar. In this video, we will cover the following topics. What is data protection? The data protection landscape, data protection in Qatar, and what you should do. We'll also take a brief look at the Nine app. Data protection is about making sure that you are being fair and responsible when processing people's personal data. These people could be employees, students, parents, or members of the public. They include people in your country, as well as people in other countries. It also includes yourself and your colleagues, which means that your school should take steps to make sure that your personal data is also processed appropriately. Before continuing, let's define some common terms. What do we mean by personal data? Personal data is information that relates to an individual. This covers basic identifiers such as name, email address, as well as more confidential information such as salary details, disciplinary records, or bank account information. Certain types of personal data are recognised under law as of a special nature. This includes information such as data on ethnicity, children, health, or physical or mental status, religious beliefs, marital relationships, or criminal offences. These categories of data of a special nature are similar to those found in other jurisdictions, such as the European Union. This data requires organisations to take extra precautions to ensure such data is processed lawfully. So what do we mean by processing personal data? Processing is simply a catch-all term to describe all the things that could be done to personal data. It includes collecting, recording, organising, structuring, storing, using, handling, deleting or archiving, among many other things. It's a word that's commonly used in data protection law and by privacy professionals, and it just means doing something with personal data. Some examples of processing could be collecting names and addresses of people interested in hearing more about your school, storing CVs and application forms from job seekers, or recording videos of people with CCT surveillance cameras. These are just some examples of processing personal data. In short, doing almost anything with personal data can be described as processing. We've already said that schools and other organisations have a responsibility to process personal data in an appropriate manner, but what do we mean by appropriate? There are a number of aspects involved. First, it means being lawful. There are now hundreds of laws around the world that set out specific provisions pertaining to data protection. These laws include factors such as how the data is defined, how it may be collected, and to whom it can be shared, and how long it can be kept. So the first priority is to ensure that all processing of personal data is lawful. Secondly, it means internal requirements in your own organisation. Your school should have standards and policies covering such things as how personal data is obtained, where it is stored, and who is allowed access to it. There may also be best practices and guidance to ensure that personal data is processed in an organised and consistent manner. Therefore, the second priority is to ensure that processing meets the internal expectations of your organisation. The legal requirements, together with your organisation's policies, will include specific objective rules on what is expected, but they will also have expectations that are harder to quantify, such as considerations for ethics, safeguarding, welfare, or respecting people's right to privacy. This means that data protection can never be a checkbox exercise. The availability of information and ease of transfer has changed dramatically over the recent decades. Individuals' personal data is moving to and from countries in ways people don't often realise or don't understand. For example, a person posting a social network picture can mean that information is transferred from their computer or phone to a server in California immediately. From there, it may be disseminated to hundreds of users in countries worldwide within seconds at the tap of a screen. Each person who likes the picture can share or resend the picture to many others with little or no restrictions. Meanwhile, the original picture can be easily modified, saved, shared, or uploaded to any number of other internet sites. These days, information is not only easily transferred, but is also difficult to control. In the face of increasing concerns about how personal information is used or even monetized, lawmakers across the world are establishing restrictions on how personal data is processed. The earliest data protection laws emerged in Europe in their latter half of the 20th century. From a slow start, the international legal landscape has changed dramatically, with new laws and regulations being drafted and enacted throughout the world. There are multiple laws in Qatar that deal with data privacy. 
the most notable of which is law number 13 of 2016's Concerning Personal Data Protection, or the Protection of Personal Data Privacy Law, which incorporates concepts from other international privacy frameworks. This took effect in 2017, however regulations further implementing this law are expected to be passed in 2021. Other aspects of Qatari law that deal with data protection include Article 333 of the Penal Code, and Articles 47 and 48 of the Labour Law, so the importance of data protection should not be underestimated. The data protection law in Qatar provides that each individual shall have the right to privacy of their personal data. Such data may only be processed within a framework of transparency, honesty, respect for human dignity, and in accordance with the provisions of the data protection law. The Qatar Ministry of Transport and Communications can also impose fines of up to 5 million Qatari reals for violations of the data protection law. It's important to note, in some circumstances, the laws of other countries may also apply. We will now consider what actions are required to meet the legal requirements set out in Qatar, and how NINE can help you stay on top of them. A good data protection program relies on strong governance at its core. In Qatar, Prior to processing personal data, the data controller, your school, must notify the data subject of the following information. The details of the data controller, or another party who processes the data on behalf of the data controller. The lawful purpose for which the data controller or any third party wants to process the personal data. A comprehensive and accurate description of the processing activities, and the degrees of disclosure of personal data for the lawful purpose or any other information deemed necessary and required for the satisfaction of personal data processing. To be able to do this, you will need to understand exactly what data you process, how you process it, why you process it, and who you share this information with. You can do this by creating a record of processing, or a data map. The record of processing module in the Nine app allows you to capture an expansive view of how data flows across your school. By following the streamlined workflows, you will be able to quickly and easily identify all of the required details and keep an accurate record of them. Data controllers must also take appropriate technical and organisational measures to securely manage the personal data. This will include carrying out the following procedures. Ensure you have set up internal systems to receive and investigate complaints, data subject access requests, data correction or deletion requests, and provide the data subjects with information relating to these. Set up internal systems for the effective management of personal data, including a method for reporting any violation that may occur. Adopt suitable technical means to enable individuals to exercise their rights to access, review, and correct their personal data directly. Before you implement any new processing operation, Carry out a review of your privacy protection procedures. Specify the processes you use that are responsible for protecting the personal data, and then train these processes on the protection of personal data, and raise their awareness relating to data protection. Carry out a comprehensive review of the mechanisms that you have in place, and check off the commitment to protect personal data. And finally, verify that the data processor abides by the instructions given to him or her or take suitable precautions to protect personal data and continually monitor that situation. The Incident Management module within the Nine app empowers you with a dependable self-governed framework to proactively manage any incident that may result in a violation of the law. The Roles and Responsibilities feature and powerful task management tools included within the app will also give you complete visibility of the roles in your team and the scope of their responsibilities, while allowing you to easily manage the team to respond to data access requests and manage your compliance program. In addition to our app, Nine Security Services can also support in protecting your school community or help if a cybersecurity attack takes place. If you'd like to try the Nine app or learn more about how Nine can help you, You can speak directly with one of our consultants by emailing support at 9.com.